Shook it up. Happy Sunday, puppies! It's Sunday! That means it's almost the weekend over. You love Sundays. Yay! Good morning and welcome to Sunday in Gryffindor. I've gotten up early, did my hair and makeup. I've just fed the dogs. I'm going to have all my vitamins and some water to start the day. Um, today I weighed in at 117.8 pounds. I had a low weigh-in of 117.4 pounds this week. My weight has kind of, I know, slightly plateaued. And it's a bit frustrating because I feel like it should drop, but it just hasn't. And that's okay. You're allowed to be frustrated when you're on a weight loss journey. It's okay to feel that way. It's normal. The main thing is, is that you continue. It's at this point where a lot of people quit and they say I'm not getting reaching my goals so I'm just gonna quit I'm not continuing on with this it feels like a waste of time but I'm not gonna do that because I am determined and I have your support and we're gonna do this we're gonna get past the 117 mark we go to Dublin on Tuesday and I find it really hard to stick to my macros get all my cardio done, my training is out of whack, my sleep's out of whack when I travel and it's probably the same for everyone when you travel whether it's for work or for a vacation it usually does affect your weight loss or weight gain or whatever your goal is right now and it's mainly down to the fact that you're out of your comfort zone, you're out of your normal routine. I won't even probably be able to weigh myself this week so I won't even know about what progress I'm making or not which might be a good thing and then when I get back I'll step on the scales and most likely it will be up slightly and it'll be frustrating but we're gonna get through this you're here to help me it's Sunday Sunday fun day today is actually my high carb day and it's not a crazy high day it's kind of just bringing it back up to maintenance i have chose to have one kind of higher carb day in the week so it just brings my macros down a little bit during the week so i can have this one high carb day but i foresee that my macros may be dropped in the next week or two and um, just to kind of speed up this fat loss process i am still doing 600 calories of cardio per week i am also doing 10,000 steps per day which involves a lot of dog walking honestly guys a lot of you if you are in an office job or if you're not in a very active job like me where i actually sit around on my laptop and on my phone a lot because i'm online we actually don't get a lot of steps in so setting yourself the goal of 10,000 steps isn't that crazy it's not a crazy amount of steps it just means i have to walk the dogs twice a day for like 20 to 30 minutes and i'm also doing my steady state cardio and then going to the gym we'll get my steps in going doing groceries things like that just doing generally looking after the house that's going to get my steps in i think it is a very feasible amount of steps to say that you want to do 10,000 steps per day now maybe there's days where you aren't going to get those in but then there's days where you'll get more than that in so if you say 70,000 per week and just look at it as a weekly goal and the same with your calories if you look at things as weekly goals you may have one day where you fall off the wagon if you set yourself a weekly goal so that some days when you actually mightn't eat all your fats it might balance out that another day you'll eat more of your fats and that's what you should be aiming for obviously consistency is key and you will see better results just on the scales day to day you get a better read on your progress if you're eating consistently the same kind of foods and um, if you are sleeping the same kind of hours all that kind of thing will affect the scales each morning if you are up and down with your food and your water intake i'm also trying to get three liters of water in per day. To be honest, I'm not sure if I've been the best this week. I have been drinking flavored water as well as Devion. So, and I don't normally count the flavored water, but normally, yeah, I probably have about a liter of flavored water. And then some days I might get my three liters in, but I'm gonna have this now with all my vitamins. And I'm still taking in my collagen every day. I will put the link to my collagen, which I showed you in a previous video and the video is called the importance of collagen so if you want to look at that if you're intrigued by why i'm taking collagen and i just put it in my coffee every morning and it is meant to be great for 
anti-aging, all that kind of stuff. But go and watch that video if you haven't already, if you're intrigued by why one should take collagen. But I'm gonna have that now. I'm gonna also have my vitamins, which are very conveniently in these little packets. I got this from Holland and Bart. It's called the Health Box. Um, I also talked about this previously in that collagen video. And it's literally just my supplements all laid out for me and they get delivered to your door in a little um, post box friendly box so you can subscribe to it so that you don't forget about your vitamins or you can just try it out for a month and see if you like it i definitely will be subscribing to get this every month because i think it's amazing so today um i'm feeling really sore all over all my muscles ache from training and um, i had to take two days off because of my tattoo so i'm kind of behind on my training normally I take sunday off training but today i will do a hit session whether i go to the gym or do it at home i still must decide but um i will try and get in some form of hit training today because that's what i usually do on a saturday but i was pushed back because i took two days off training this week and you know it didn't do me any harm and next week i don't know what my training is going to be like i know we have access to the raw gyms in dublin and there is a pretty decent gym in the hotel we're staying in because i've stayed there before so i'll at least get my cardio in but whether i will get proper training sessions in i always feel that they they can be affected a bit when i travel because obviously you're a bit tired you're kind of up early doing a lot of stuff a lot, a lot of activities but i am excited to go to dublin because I get to bring the athletes back to my hometown. I feel like I'm the only person who's going to fully understand all the talk, fast talking Irish people. I'm excited to see the American athletes who are flying in and just to have some fun with the Gymshark family as always. Obviously the dogs are gonna to have to go into their little kennel for the week, but they don't mind it. They haven't been in there in a while and they do enjoy going to the kennel. Okay, gonna go and have my vitamins and then have a coffee and then walk the dogs for their am walking so we have my collagen coffee and i have been experimenting again and this is a maca muffin and it tastes so chocolatey and coffee and yumminess it's like the perfect breakfast little treat because the combination of coffee and chocolate is obviously delicious so i'm gonna have this and if you would like to see more of my high protein recipes go and check out my cooking channel i've also been putting them on my igtv and i have a foodie friday on my instagram so if you want to see any of my recipes they will be there just an extra little suggestions of things to do with food so i'm gonna have this now with my collagen coffee i'm actually waiting on a sainsbury's grocery delivery so once that comes I'll bring the dogs out for a walk and then do some exercise. So my Sainsbury's delivery has arrived. I'll just take you through it. It's only a small little shop because obviously we're leaving on Tuesday and I just wanted to top up a few things before we go, uh, just to keep us going. As the sun has been shining, we've got some mini twisters. They actually have really good macros, guys. So per lolly, it's um, less than 0.5 grams of fat, 8.6 grams carbs, no protein, but perfect for this hot weather also my favorite healthy ice cream is this oppo colombian chocolate hazelnut ice cream per 100 ml remember ml is not the equal to grams so you are going to have to adjust this so per ml it is four grams of fat and 9.9 .9 grams of carbs that is my favorite of all the healthy ice creams got some free range eggs for lex because he's on his high fat diet as you know i also got him this so to avoid having too much dairy in his diet i've gotten him this coconut yogurt and i just thought it'd be good for him for hitting his macros so per 100 10 grams of fat and 6.6 .6 grams of carbs we also got him some of this feta again i know it's dairy but oh it's actually well it's made from sheep's and goat's milk and um per 100 we have 24 grams of fat so he has been adding in some goat's cheese into his eggs and maybe this feta will taste nice i had an omelette the other day and had some feta in it and it was delicious just some healthy little snacks some mini carrots and if you add some of the golden fiber syrup to these put them in the oven with seasoning oh my god caramelized carrots are delicious i love me some butternut squash chips and i think that 
Sainsbury's ones are actually the best and these crinkle cut ones so I just have these for my meal in the evening most days as well as some of this asparagus and baby leeks love them love them love them all these three ingredients go in the oven together and I usually have that with some chicken we've got some of this paprika pepper seasoning which is perfect for putting on the butternut squash chips this is for traveling the Candarel Zero. It's just a little squirty bottle and it doesn't have that bitter taste that a lot of the artificial sweeteners have and that's why I like it and it's just handbag friendly. I have never tried this before and I thought I'd give it a go, even just to include it in some recipes. It's the hazelnut chocolate spread from Jim Jams. Got it in Sainsbury's and it's um, only 36.6 grams of fat per hundred and 49.4 um, grams of carbs but only 8.7 of those are sugars because it's all uh, made with mannitol so we've got lower in sugar in that and just tastes delicious these just for convenience for when I'm traveling and I make up my porridge on water so per 27 grams which is one sachet it's 2.1 grams of fat and 16 grams of carbs and I'll probably add in some protein powder to that and it's just quick and handy for when I'm traveling. I'm gonna bring them with me in my luggage. Always a firm favorite in this household for in our coffees. Yes, it's the Coconut Almond Alpro. And this froths up perfect for cappuccinos and lattes, etc. Bit of squirty cream goodness. I always go for the light one, even though Alex is on his higher fat diet, I think. The light is always the better option for a serving. It's 2.1 grams of fat and a serving is about 12 grams. So if you're having that with some strawberries or maybe on top of some coffee, I really like this wine. And usually on my higher carb day, I'll have a glass of wine. That's like my treat to myself. And yes, I'm going to have a glass of that this evening. This is the Verde wine. It has a mild kind of frisant or fizz to it but it's like naturally occurring so some of them are fizzier than others and i just get this in sainsbury's again this is my go-to for my coffees it does not froth so you can't make cappuccino or latte with it but just to add into my coffee i usually add about 30 ml in and it just gives it that maca taste we've got some parsnips because i've been just putting them in the oven for lex just to try and get veggies into them my standard Pepsi Max Cherry. I usually have one of these for my sweet tooth. This is pumpkin, as you see in a lot of my recipes. Yes, you can pick it up in Sainsbury's and it's one pound for a can. I just thought I'd give these a go. They looked pretty handy and pretty tasty, maybe just for evenings where I don't really have a lot of time to be cooking. And for a half a pack, it's 2.5 grams of fat and 26 grams of carbs in that one. And in the cheese and bacon one, it's 3.6 grams of fat and 26 carbs. So just for something convenient if I don't have time to be cooking. And then I know this isn't anything to do with food, but I do like me some flowers. I like to keep the place happy and colorful and these sunflowers are just divine ladies if your husband is really crap at buying flowers like mine is he does it every so often but i do love my flowers just buy them yourself you don't have to be waiting for an old man to be buying you flowers i like to treat myself that good walk girls yeah three thousand steps so the dogs are getting fitter as i get fitter because we just did 3,000 steps. Bailey actually came back a bit early with legs because she was a little bit too tired because her little legs just had a wreck. She's made friends with a boxer from down the road called Sid and they like to play in his front garden. So now for breakfast. For breakfast is a big bowl of protein oats. I have one sachet of the Quaker's oats with 50 ml of liquid egg whites i've got 10 grams of this quest protein powder and i've just topped it with five grams of dark chocolate chips so honestly if you have a sweet tooth but you want to keep it healthy oats are a really good option and you can make them as sweet as you want you can top with peanut butter you can put syrup on it and if you want you just add it to your macros a sweet treat for breakfast breakfast number two strawberries papaya some vanilla quark with some of this fiber syrup drizzled on top because i wanted some extra carbs and protein afternoon coffee and a nice little protein treat these are like reese's cups they have 
14 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of protein in two of these little bad boys, and they are delicious. So we go to Dublin on Tuesday, and the big question is, what the heck am I gonna pack? Because we have 20 kilo check on, and I have to bring about like 13 million pairs of trainers, because I never know what ones I want to bring. So I've established that this is what I'm bringing so far. Yeah, I have really not got very far with my packing. I love these little denim skirts from ASOS. I use the petite ones because obviously short legs. And then I got one in black as well because I really like this one. And I got these kind of like capri light pants from Monkey. Then all my gym clothes because obviously it's a Gymshark event. So these are kind of like my favourite items. We have the Arc leggings, we have the Dreamy and Taupe. They're the cropped ones. Then I've got a pair of Fit leggings because they look sublime on me. That's what I'm wearing today. Then I've got the High Waist Seamless in blue. I've got the Ombre in kind of grey into light grey, which is my favourite ones colour wise. And then I've got like 3 million of the bras. I love these these bras here, which have like the open back. I really like them. I can't remember the name of them, but they are my favourite of the bras from Gymshark. I like the new print ones out. And then I'll see more seamless, seamless. And then I've got some of the towel tops because I love them too. That's a bit of an insight into what I'm planning on packing to go to Dublin. It is a matter of we don't really go out as such, but then if we do go out, do I just wear gym clothes or do I change into something a little bit nicer? I don't know. I don't know. I'm very excited for the Dublin store though. So if you're Irish and you're watching this, make sure to come on Saturday. Me and Lex are there in the morning on the Saturday and in the afternoon on the Sunday. So either way, just come down, you'll see us, you see all the other athletes who are coming and dirt on my screen. Um, there is quite strict time. So if you get there early on the Saturday, you should get to meet us and they will have some limited edition items on sale as well. I can't tell you what they are, but they will have stuff there and then there's gonna be like fun stuff going on as well. Like um, it isn't just like a meet and greet and a store, like there is other stuff going on. So it will keep you entertained. It's in Nordies, which is just outside the city center. So come see us, have fun, join us in Dublin. What, what? I'm gonna continue with my packing and my laundry because I have to alter. I have to also get through some of the dirty ass clothes that are in my laundry hamper. I've drank a lot of coffee today. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've had a very lazy day. I sat and watched Notting Hill. I've drank about four cups of coffee and generally just had a lazy Sunday. I just wasn't feeling the gym today and Sometimes you're just not feeling the gym and I've put in my workouts this week and today was literally just my hip training. I have done my abdominal muscle exercises because I am doing that 30 day ab challenge for myself and as you can hear I'm kind of out of breath and I, I have to do it every day because I want to do it right and do it truthfully so I'm here on my yoga mat in the lounge, just doing my abs at home. A lot of times I am just doing the abs at home following my at-home cardio. So right now, Lex and I are gonna walk the dogs again. Um, there's a pub up the road, so we're gonna go up there. Maybe have a glass of wine. As I said, I like to enjoy a glass of wine on my high carb day. I just incorporate that into my macros. And obviously as my prep, gets closer in to the competition, I will be cutting out alcohol completely. But right now, I'm still 13 weeks out and yeah, we're allowed to have a glass of wine. Um, I will do a physique update and then that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna follow this now with a physique update just to show you guys my progress and how I'm getting on with my diet and you can see it 
to show you the physical changes that are happening in my body even if I can't see them maybe you guys can as always guys leave me some nice positive feedback I find the encouragement really good as I'm doing this prep and I am finding it a little bit more difficult this time I thought this prep would be easier because I've just come out of a prep but maybe because I didn't have such a long break like I had previously maybe that's why I'm finding it a little bit more challenging I'm also started from a leaner point and I suppose I always do get stuck on my weight around this weight it's always the weight that kind of my body just kind of clings onto it it wants to stay at this weight it doesn't want to go lower and this would be the ideal weight that I'd like to sit at in my off season but as I've said I am not doing this just for health this is for a bodybuilding competition and I want to get ridiculously shredded and that is my goal I'm trying to do it in the most healthy way possible but at the same time my body doesn't want to play ball right now so let's pray to the fairies that Lainey will shed some fat that always encourages me and as always if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching one of my videos hit that subscribe button if you're already subscribed make sure to turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and of course follow me on my Instagram also turn on notifications for that so you don't miss any of my posts because Instagram are screwing us right now like my posts aren't even showing up in Lex's feed and that's my husband so definitely Instagram stop messing with my feed and I'll check you guys next time. Enjoy the physique update. If I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turned to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.